Hello and welcome back guys to Season 2 of Dungeon Realms. We are finally at Friday and they've released Dungeon Realms and I'm really excited to start all over again. As you see we have 50 HP, not the usual 6000 where we fought tier 4s and stuff like that and we weren't scared at all. So yeah, now it's time to start a new, they've added a bunch of new content, one of which has been this. And a bunch of new areas as well. So yeah, we'll explore that. Possibly today, possibly tomorrow, possibly today I'll record several episodes or something like that. But yeah, we still have our sheep and that's our main thing. Look at that. Emerald, yeah. So this right here is the tutorial area. Where <clears throat> if you didn't know the game, you get to learn a bit more about the game. And stuff like that. So yeah, you have to complete... Um, several objectives like speak to the eyes on Greta and stuff like that. So, since there's some new stuff, I'm gonna go through it all. So, yeah, let's start with Alan Greta. Andalusia is plagued with Gorgath's evil minions, so be careful out there. Yes, eyes on Greta, I shall be careful. <laughs> I don't know why the heck I'm doing that voice, but I think that sounded pretty good. Anyways, ship sailor gets you out of here. So we don't want that yet. We want to go and talk to our next objective. Your next objective is to follow the road out of the house and meet your first guide. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm super excited about this. So our first guide is the interface guide. Hi. Lag. <laughs> yeah, they've had some problems on release. Uh, Aveli just finished off his live stream, so um, Vac is still fixing some bugs. So there might be some lag. It doesn't look like I'm able to speak to this guy, which is very strange. Yeah, but I wanted to read this sign. Uh, diving is strongly. It's me and Marks encouraged. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, random stuff. Okay, that guy seems to be moving, so let's go back and see if we can click on this guy. I'm not able to click on the NPC. That is really weird. Yeah. But, um, this guy mainly talks about the armor and stats, I bet. And this guy talks about equipment, I guess. Equipment stats and stuff like that. But the main thing to know, I guess, is that your XP bar is your stamina, the XP value is your current HP, and the heart is the health overview. Well, we knew that already, so that's not new to us. Let's, let's walk around here, nothing here. Okay. Nice tutorial area, not bad. I have invisibility, so nobody else can see me and me. Alright. This is the ore guy, and there's no ore guy here. Weird. Hmm. I might have to rewalk, guys. I'll be right back. I'll see what I can do about clicking on those NPCs because I know some NPCs are supposed to give you armor. So, yeah, if I'm unable to click on them, that could ruin the game for me because, well, I want to get a free suit of armor. So, yeah, everybody's also walking around shifting. So, I'll relog and be right back in a moment. So, I derped. <laughs> Apparently, you have to click on this island greeter several times. And not just once, because he tells you several things. So, the next thing he says. If you choose to complete the tutorial, you'll be rewarded with a set of tier 1 armor. That's good. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing he says, apparently. Let's see if we can finally talk to that other guy. And I take hearts here for some reason. Thought this was a safe zone. But apparently not. Let's see if this guy wants to talk to us now. Alright, so personal shops can be created by sneak left clicking the ground with your journal. The equipment master will explain the rest of your items of note. Character journal, click the ground, create shop. Basic, we already knew that. Uh, ah, Orb of Peace makes your realm a safe zone for one hour. Knew that. Uh, speak to the Master Miner next. Alright, oh, that's the guy who we didn't really see, right? Yeah. So, I guess these guys are all basic peoples in the game. 
all the basic trays and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go to the Master Miner. There are five tiers of ore. Knew that. When it reaches level 100, the pickaxe can be exchanged to the merchant. Didn't know that. Speak to the Master Fisherman next. And he gave us some ore. How nice of him. Anyways, Master Fisherman, by the sea, of course. Quite logical, I hope. Well, if it isn't logical for you, then you should do some things. I don't know. Anyways, Master Fisherman. Chain pants. Nice. Nice design. Uh, get a fishing rod from the skill trainer. He sells them and cheap. Let's go to the skill trainer and see if we can buy ourselves a fishing rod. <laughs> Doing this a bit of a different style, guys, if you can't tell. A bit of a roleplay style thing. Um, talking in different, like, voices, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let's go to the skill trainer and see if he can give us a cheap fishing rod. No, fishing rods are 100 gold. You bullcrapper. You bullshitted us. <laughs> Uh, you don't give cheap fishing rods. You can't even buy that rod. Okay, what do I do next? Um, from me, you can buy all the equipment. That's what the skill trainer said. Um, okay, let's go talk back to the fisherman because we can't get a fishing rod. So maybe he'll explain to us what we do if we can't do that. Ah, apparently, here's a freshly caught raw. Anchovies, you should cook it over the fire. And by clicking on the furnace, you cook it. And I get a cooked anchovy, negative 10% hunger, a small blue oily fish. Untradeable. US1, US2, hard, a slight hardware failure. Fixed now. Okay, that's good to know. Watch out for flying Dutchmen. I guess I can go on to the next stage, right? Yeah, probably. Let's go check that out. Haven't got my set of armor yet, so. But that set of armor probably just had 7 HP or something silly like that. So that won't be much of a help. Ah, example shops. Nice. Of course, I knew that already. Right click your player journal. And play shops. You cannot play shops until you have completed tutorial end. Okay. Sure. Let's go with that. Anvils. Right click to repair your gear. And this is my bank chest zero gems. Damn it. I thought maybe maybe they would have a glitch or something and gems would not reset. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Having 50 gems right at the beginning. Uh, vitality adds health and damage to the sword. Strength adds damage to the axe arm, uh, and percent block and armor. While dexterity adds damage to the bow, critical hit and dodge. And these are the five tiers of armor. And hopefully you guys know that. I know that. So, if you guys don't well, read that, because now you guys can play with me, because, yeah, it's open beta, of course. I'll put the IP in the description. Um, alignment guide, neutral. Yeah, I think this is pretty easy. Pretty basic, neutral, and chaotic. Don't touch chaotic players. Don't want to touch chaotic players. <laughs> Master duelist. To engage in a duel, left-click someone with a weapon in hand. All right. That works. Knew that. Uh, Master Marksman. What does he say? Uh, speak to the armor guide next. Keep your eye on the prize. Armor guide. He'll probably give us a set of armor. Speak to the enchanter next. Hello, adventurer. Repair broken. Right, I got one lever. That's it? That's all you're going to give me? Fine be that way. Alright, those are the tiers of scraps that you can repair stuff with. Let's go on. Eh, I don't care much about the setup. Holy... <laughs> this is insane. Have they modified that? Yeah, I bet they have. Like, it's multiple now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that, actually. Yeah, multiple entities inside that. Could cause a bit of FPS lag, but I don't see any, so that's good. Alright, item enchanter. Orbs of alteration can randomize the attributes of a desired item. You can make orbs of alteration by exchanging the amount of scraps to the merchant. Alright, yeah, you should give me an orb of alteration. Right, he gives me an enchanter wooden weapon. Silly guy. 
Really silly. <laughs> Thanks, guy. I would rather have that orb in your hand, but sure. I guess we've completed the tutorial. The only new thing that I've seen so far is fishing. But I think there's some new stuff. Other new stuff as well. I don't think I got any leather armor, but I think we have ready to head over to Andalusia and this amazingly built ship. What happens if you fall in the water and you can't? I guess you can get out of the beach. Whatever. <laughs> Stop doing you off. Let's go. Ship captain, are you ready to start your adventure of Chick the Best? Ah, oh, not up here. Of course, yes. Oh yeah, he gives us a. Uh, there we go. Our armor is there. Sweet. Two to five. Not bad for a start. Get us some food as well. And some instant health. Let's prepare those just in case. I think we are all good. Let's put this coal ore in the bank just in case. So we do not lose it. Alright. Ready to adventure. Totally new adventure. Ooh, nice. Not bad. Wait, what are people selling these for? 10 and 15 gold. Not a bad price, I don't think. The economy is back to normal, which is nice to see. Very nice. And someone got a superior health pot already. That's that's pretty cool. I just want to check these out to see um, what's going around. Um, tier 2 axes are already going around, looks like. But um, nothing much of... Um, well, notice, I guess. Anyways, yeah, as I predicted, well, energy region can be quite useful, but plus three, plus one, not so good armor. <laughs> so yeah, let's go get some stuff. Um, I've been contemplating on where to go when we start. I thought maybe we go left to, well, the standard area of Andalusia, or we go right to where, well, what is it called? Um, Gloomy Hollows is. And I think Gloomy Hollows is one of the best places to actually farm stuff. So I wanted to go... should have left that in the chest. But yeah, I think I'm going to go to Gloomy Hollows and check that area first. Since that was one of the first areas that... Well, there's leather guys there, so it's pretty easy to kill them. So let's go there. Hopefully we don't get killed in like one shot. Because there's also iron and chain guys. So yeah. That could happen. We need a good leather set. And yeah, in the last Iron Republic episode, I mentioned that I'm going to be doing this fully, almost fully on camera. Um, if we need to do like some preliminary farming or something like that. I, of course, won't do that on camera because that's boring. I'll probably live stream that or something and link it in the description of videos. So yeah, this first episode is going to be us killing some awesome leather guys might be joined by some other iron republic members who knows gotta check my skype um all right no leather guys in sight looks like everybody's defeated everybody so i think this is the end of this episode <laughs> kidding i should really time these shouldn't i yeah but first we wanna that guy's got a sheep let's show off our sheep too <laughs> Did I... <sighs> Face palm. I just ate my fish. And I just named my freaking sheep Emerald. Let's rename it. There we go. That's much better. Um, I know there's tier fours in the well. And I'm really tempted to go and try to kill one of them. Don't know how that's going to turn out. Because they can probably hit, uh, kill me in one hit. So, yeah, that's that's not going to be really good if we do that. So, But there's nothing really to lose. Except for maybe durability on my armor. But I bet it's untradeable, yeah. So, 7 HP, give or take. And we can take on a tough Naga. Would be pretty awesome. But, I don't know. <laughs> really don't know. Let's put this away just in case, because that's actually something we can lose while well, these things we all respawn with. So let's go and fight a tough Naga. 270 out of 250 people are online. That's crazy. 
Woohoo! Tough Naga, here I come. You are gonna be defeated by the famous Volf. Um, sure. Why not? You only live once, right? <laughs> Harm a spider. You do nothing to me. And I got some arrows and gems. My f first gem on Dungeon Realms. Pretty awesome. Stop warping! Stop warping, stupid mob. Ah! You're already dying. Really? <laughs> they started... <sighs> what is with the warping? I do not even. Ah! Uh, yeah. There we go, first death. Nothing bad. We've got an axe. I mean, we've got a sword now. So yeah, swords, in my opinion, are better. So... Yeah, let's not go to Gloomy Hollows. I think the best place to farm tier 1 is not Gloomy Hollows at all. But, first, um... <laughs> after that, first death, and losing our first ever gems on Season 2 of Dungeon Realms, I think I want to check the timing on this video, just to make sure we don't go over, and even if I'm going to record multiple videos, I want to do intros and outros for each. So, I will be... Right. Oh, back. right. We are back. So, I want to make these episodes around 20 minutes each and cut them off at points where, well, definite points. I don't know. Like finding some kind of super awesome chess piece of awesomeness or something like that. But, yeah, so far we've recorded about 12 minutes and now we're going to go into a much smarter area for tier 1s, which is this area. I don't know what it's called, but I think it's the Plains of Andalusia. As it said in chat, you're now entering Plains of Andalusia. Or Andalasia, whatever it says. Anyway, not I'm unused to not having infinite energy region while I sprint. Really unfortunate, but gotta do what you gotta do. Resets and economy rethinkings and stuff like that. It's gonna be awesome, I think. But... Let's take a look in this hollow tree. I think there's a tier 1 elite in there, which would be pretty cool to fight. And there's already people there. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, but I, I think the game in the first days is going to be quite, quite congested. Um, with the amount of people here and stuff like that. So, yeah, not much stuff to go around, I don't think. And I think they grabbed these loot chests already. So Gloomy Hollows might have been a good place to go. Don't know yet. Yeah, by the amount of people here, definitely was a pretty good place. Pretty smart way to go. So if you die again, they might go to Gloomy Hollows. Or they might farm this tree. Don't know. Nothing out the tree though, so nothing to farm. Hopefully mobs spawn in this game still, you know? Because I've heard they de um, in the update they've debuffed some things uh, such as tier 5 armor because there was a big gap between tier 5 and tier 4 and they wanted to get rid of that so I think they've done that successfully by getting rid of the OP stats on tier 5 armor. And I just got 7 HP boots. Sweet! It's like it dude. 8 HP region. Well this one's only 1. Sweet. Getting better gear already. Very nice. That guy's got tier 2 already. <laughs> not bad. Um, not bad at all. We might go for tier 2s like next episode or something because <laughs> I think us going for tier 2s might be a bit early. Hello adventurer, be careful these lands are ridden uh, with bandits. Of course they are. What do you expect? Haven't you played this game for a while or something? Hey? <laughs> Play NPC? Hey. Minor. How much health has he got? Oh, 143. I thought 1043. I was like, what? Hacks. Oh, killing these. Frick. It's too easy. For now, at least. If I learn how to conserve my energy and stuff like that, I think we'll do pretty well. Should you go up to Stonehenge? Should you really risk it? I think somebody shot at me. Yeah, that asshole right there. <laughs> hey, wake up! With an enchanted bow. Um, right. Team speak. Go away. 
let's continue on with our journey. If they message me again, I'll just, um, yeah, stop for a bit and tell them to fudge off. <laughs> well, okay. I'm not saying bad words, am I? I'm such a nice guy. I heard there's a tier 1 uh, elite over there, so if you want some tier 1 drops, we might as well go over there. Someone just got killed, sweet, can go pick up his items or something like that, but don't really care about stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of people here already camping. This was probably one of the best places to camp uh, in the very beginning of the game, because you get a shit ton of gems here and a ton of mobs spawn on you. So yeah, that could be quite handy, especially when not a lot of people are on, because, well, <laughs> um, then we can kill them easier. But yeah, let's go over here, hopefully not all <sighs> He aggroed all of them. What an idiot. Let's not die this time, okay. Bob, don't die. Let's be careful, <laughs> right, yeah. Because this game, it can be quite hard, depending on how you play it. Um, there you go. Kill that guy, and this. Ooh, ow. That guy does a lot of damage. I don't think uh, um, blocking does anything in this game. Just got a bow. That is really nice, considering I have so many wood arrows. Very, very nice. Come on, give me this chest already. Oh god, okay, never mind. Don't give me that chest, just let me through. I'm gonna stand on this chest and defend myself from the attackers of Andalusia. There we go, another bow. Um, blindness. Don't know if that's any better, but... Yeah, they've got eight gems already, guys! Eight gems! <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm really excited about this new... Yes, not very new. Oh, elite. Get back, get back, it's an elite. <laughs> it's an elite mob. He's doing the whirlwind. He's doing the whirlwind. You can die from a whirlwind very easily. Yes, gems, gems, gems. My gems, asshole. I, as far as I know, I think in this area, we have some tier four, tier one elites. Tier four elites, that'd be ridiculous. I think these guys are gonna die in there. Oh, God. Yeah, I almost died in there. What's... Let's get back. Let's get back a bit. <laughs> so as to not risk uh gear. What if you're doing almost like no damage to them? Oh, goodness, okay. Get back, Vov. You don't wanna fight these guys so uncarefully. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Or we can't. Let's get Get out of here! <laughs> Run! For Narnia! I don't think they're following me guys. Yes! They survived. They are still alive. Quite nice bread. Alright, let's kill this elite. Let's actually kill this elite. Come on. We can do this. I believe in you. I think somebody else is attacking him from back there, so... Let's just come up to him and attack him from the front. Holy cow, he's got a lot of health. He's a cow. Oh. Oh, come on. Almost, almost there. Almost there, Rob. That asshole didn't even help me. Yes, boots. Get back, get back, get back. 9 HP. Even tier 1 mob can hit for that. I can throw this HP potion, so if I die, blame it on, blame it on this. Look, 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 can't throw, <laughs> can't throw HP. Damn it, that was, oh god. Must be some kind of client side glitch. <laughs> Which has been introduced in this recent version of the game. Fortunately our sword didn't break though, which is quite nice. But, um, right. Righty ho! I think we've got some starter gear, some quite some nice starter gear, some seven HP. So yeah, that's definitely better than that. Let's check out 
No, the weapons we got are not that good. But I think we will be ending it off right here in this dungeon. Um, let's get out of it first, actually. Because I don't really want to die right at the finish of an episode. Got another axe. Which is not that bad, but not that good either. And I can't kill all these mobs at the same time, so I might as well get, get out, get out, get out. Get, get, get. Get, get, get out. Uh, I, I remember there's a chest back there. That's why I checked. Anyways, yeah. YOLOing this area kind of stuff. Uh, and things like that. But I think now we are safe. We've got some new gear. Some quite nice gear. 7 HP. Not bad. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little exciting episode. Exciting starter episode. And I want to upload the whole road to us getting to tier 5. Maybe I'll introduce some more Iron Republicans to the series, as I said before. That should be fun. Not only one person talking, but many at the same time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you all next episode. Bye bye.